So guys, we haven't been doing a lot of videos and work because there is a lot of flooding in Kenya. The floods are have really <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Hey, 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 O Jonathan Oyundi. Ya yeah, Oyundi. Dishon Oyundi. Hiyo yeah. ndiyo sisi tulman tunakumbuka. Sasa tunamututa mutolea au wadudu nje. Tutamutibia nje. Tutafutie sijui kiti ya plastic unaweza kupata ama hata hizi mama. Yep, 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 tutapata. So Gideon, we have Jigata Gideon. In a, in a nice home where his aunt was. And now he is very, very jiggered. We just said even if we have to go with the floods, we have to come and help our brother. So uh, here we come. And this is his home. Remember where he was, that beautiful home was for his for the sister, for his mother. Now his father. Muzeni Baba Yake. Oh, brother. Okay. Oh, he's the brother. Oh, man. I can see a big cluster of jiggers on on his sitters. And so, um, mami, nataka unionyeshe, pita hivi kwanza. Nionyeshe maali, maali oyundia na lala. So he was brought on on Sunday. Oh, me mwaga po nini nini doom. Yo 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 dudu dudu dust. Sasa analala kwa ikiti. Okay. So yeye unaitana na mna gani na huyu? Nisemeki. Huyu ni mlamwa yako. Okay. So she's the sister-in-law. Na oyundi yako na wazazi kweli? Uh, uh, walikufa. Walikufa. Hey. Sasa nani anakana yeye? Sasa unajua ugonje njine meingia kwa yeye. Mm. Alipotea. Hata uh, tulikuwa tukiwe uh, yeye yiko wapi. Tulikuwa tunamutafuta. Mm. Tukasikia yeye yiko motete. Oh, kwa dada yako? Uh, kwa mama yake na kini alikufa. Aha. Sasa alika habo vila mtu kushikulika yeye. Mm -hmm. Sasa ndi aliletwa kama duti na mkula kabisa. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's saying that he he got lost and they had been looking for him. Then they heard that he was at his mother's house. The mother passed on. So he was just alone in that place where his mother was. And so the sister-in-law, Mama unaitwa nani? Josephine. Her name is Josephine. So Josephine, the sister in law went and, and picked him. So he has been here since since Sunday. And so Sasa Shida to Kijaribu kumusa idea who you see at our doka ten, ata to kimusime and dear tum tengeneze. See at Ienda. Leo tutamfungia kwa nyumba. Na uh, sasa to kimsa idea mutamfungia kwa nyumba hata enda tena. Hey. Ataka sasa? Sasa ataka tutamufungi yango kwa nyumba kama tunatoka. Eh, hey. Okay. So she's saying that you, if you help him with concrete and whatever, we will be locking him in the house. He will, you know, when we leave, we will just be locking him somewhere so that it doesn't disappear again. Remember, Oyunde is a mental case. So you just wake up and, and leave. That's where the problem is because he, has, he is sick mentally. And it becomes very hard to contain someone like him. But I thank her mama mungu wa kubariki. Wale ambao wanarokota kama hao walio kataliwa. Mungu wa mbinguni na ya anawaona. Mungu amekuona. Najua siyo raisi. Uyu 
huyu mtu mwenda wazimu kukaa naye kwa nyumba yako watu hawatakangi yeah. lakini wale ambao wanachukua hawa Mungu naye huwakumbuka yeah. kwa hivyo usikufe moyo right. endelea na hiyo roho na Mungu atakuonekania mama right. sisi tutasimama na wewe yeah. tutasaidia na malazi tusaidia vile tunaweza yeah. lakini wewe ndiye mstari wa mbele na mzee yeah, right. sisi tunafuata nyuma nyinyi mbele sisi nyuma yeah. sawa yeah, okay yeah. so uh, we will do whatever we can do you know as long as They will help him. I think we can do it here. We we can we will try and concrete and, and bring in bedding and to and do the the best we can to 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 to, to help him. And so uh we're going to wash him and get him prepared for uh for the jigger digging. Remember Kenya is facing the floods and it, we are just lucky today it hasn't rained. But we have been uh, tucked in homes for now a month because you you can't get out because the the roads are so bad, especially in these rural areas where we work. The road network is so messed up. You know everything is just not working, and so you will expect fewer content. But as normalcy returns, because these floods will subside then you should really expect us to be out and you know doing it like we have always been doing and some people who had subscribed are living we wish them well it's not our making that we are not uh, having uh, the videos that we used to if you check on uh, through the, the television and, and through the internet you will see what is happening in Kenya so we cannot just come out and produce content while floods are carrying away people you know people are dying we've had over 2000 people in Kenya die, die out of the floods and we are having a lot of uh, you know destruction to property the road network is bad and everything is just not working so we we can only come out guys when we can but when we cannot do that then that should be understood okay sutuka <laughs> So she hadn't seen him for a long time and she says when I saw him on Sunday I was shocked he had so many 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 more jiggers much more than what we can see now and I'm I'm just so thankful for this woman She she had no obligation to do that because she has her husband and her own family but she took him in and I've just told her that uh, she's a very special woman and God will bless her for that. Oh my. So this world has good people. They're, they're there in the middle of all the selfishness that we see daily we have people who are good hearted who can take you in who can help you who can wash you when you're smelling they are here in this world so god still has people love still has people So th- this is the brother and he he hides in the mountain he sleeps in the caves in the rocks so akakimbia kaenda oh oh so he went to the mountain to look for him and he, when he found him he actually pushed him and he fell down then he ran away And so they have, they had been looking for him and you know as somebody who is mentally sick they don't have any specific place so they had really been searching and searching and searching so he says whoever brought him home that person was an angel and we are happy to have him in our home <laughs>